They say sometimes action speaks louder than words, so I'm going to shut up and I'm going to tell you all by action. Here we go. Yes, I did this last time also and I told you that if Superman ever had a phone, then Micromax thinks this should be his phone, a super phone, not a smartphone, a super phone. And why? Because it has gesture control. And like I said, action speaks louder than words. Now, before we go into the gesture control part and everything else, let's get a good look at this phone. So. It's a slightly, you know, it looks thin, but it's a heavy phone, so that's not too bad. All metal, seems nice, well made. Uh, it's got a five megapixel camera at the back. Again, the front has four buttons. I think now it's supposed to be three, so the fourth button is more or less redundant, but it's on Android 2.2 and we'll talk about that too. Screen, pretty good. Nice, sharp screen, very nice looking screen, vivid colors, has more or less everything that you require, including a camera at the front. So. All in all, what you really need in a phone is there. It's nice looking, it's solid, and it has gesture control. Now, what is that? Before we go into that, I'll just take you through why Micromax, a company like this, would come out with a phone. Remember, Micromax is what? An economy, a budget king. Even if they take out a smartphone, they would go into the five, seven, nine thousand variety. This one at 19,000. Worth it? First, I'm gonna show you something about the big feature, gesture control. When you select gesture settings, you get a list of options, contacts, phone, email, music and gallery. Once selected, all these features can then be controlled by gesture. Starting from answering the calls to rejecting them, it is very impressive. The magic happens when you just wave your hand from left to right or right to left above the phone to perform these actions. We tried playing the music, stopping it and changing the song, all of it with hands. Not just this, you can glance through the gallery, cover the camera with your hand and it will open the selected pictures. You can zoom in and zoom out with gestures. Cool, isn't it? So that then is how gesture control works. I think it's interesting. I think it's a great leap in technology, or at least in thinking, but I still feel the execution is not 100% perfect. The second thing you have to think about, do you really need it? Wouldn't you rather scroll by touching a touch screen than doing this? So those are the things to think about, but I think it's a cool feature. I think it's a nice feature to show off to people that you've got the super phone. Now, what else does it have, this phone? What are the insides like? Let's take a look. The super phone doesn't disappoint you in terms of speed. It is powered by NVIDIA's 1 GHz dual-core processor, thanks to which the interface launching applications and browsing was fast and smooth. YouTube videos, two played without a glitch. It runs on Android 2.2, which is upgradable to gingerbread. We, however, would have appreciated a straight Android 2.3 on the phone. The interface is well designed, the home screen's animation can be chosen from options. It features a 512 MB RAM with 8 GB internal storage, flip around for a 5 megapixel camera and a VGA front facing camera enabling video calling. It's a 3G device that comes with Wi Fi and Bluetooth for connectivity. The battery too is decent at 1500, but we have our doubts how long it will get you through the day while using gesture controls. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.